Thank you for joining me again. Welcome to another reading from the book, In Heavenly Places, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled, More Than Conquerors, February 27th. In all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Romans 8.37 Through the power that Jesus gives, we can be more than conquerors. But we cannot manufacture this power. Only through the Spirit of God can we receive it. We need a deep insight into the nature of Christ and into the mystery of his love which passeth knowledge. Ephesians 3.19 We are to live in the warm, genial rays of the Son of Righteousness. Nothing but Christ's loving compassion, His divine grace, His almighty power can enable us to baffle the relentless foe and subdue the opposition of our own hearts. What is our strength? The joy of the Lord. Let the love of Christ fill our hearts, and then we shall be prepared to receive the power that he has for us. Let us thank God every day for the blessings that are ours. If the human agent will humble himself before God, realizing his utter inability to do the work that needs to be done in order that his soul may be purified, if he will cast away his own righteousness, Christ will abide in his heart. He will put his hand to the work of creating him anew and will continue the work till he is complete in him. Beholding Christ for the purpose of becoming like him, the seeker after truth sees the perfection of the principles of God's law, and he becomes dissatisfied with everything but perfection. But he knows that with the Redeemer there is saving power that will gain for him the victory in the conflict. The Savior will strengthen and help him as he comes pleading for grace and efficiency. Christ will never neglect the work that has been placed in his hands. He will inspire the resolute disciple with a sense of the perversity, the sin-stained condition, the depravity of the heart upon which he is working. The true penitent learns the uselessness of self-importance. Looking to Jesus, comparing his own defective character with the Savior's perfect character, he says only, In my hand no price I bring, simply to thy cross I cling. Let us heed the admonitions in this reading today. Let us allow the love of Christ to fill our hearts and so prepare us to receive the power that he has for us to overcome sin. Thank you for listening today. Be sure to join me tomorrow for another reading from the book In Heavenly Places. God bless you.